Hi guys, I'm Crystal from Keto Carnivores Chris, and today I'm gonna to show you how I make my suet. It's not traditional um, or conventional, it's just the way I like to do it. Um, it's super tasty, it's not too complicated. You do need an air fryer, um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk suet. I had gotten a bunch of suet from, again, my good friend Kim, um, her cow share purchase. Um, and I broke it down into bags like this. So this would be not commercial suet. This was from a farmer. Um, I've broken it down into little bags like this. I store it in this. Um, and this is other suet that I bought. I bought it in a Ziploc bag. This is originally how it came, but I keep this in my um, freezer. And I actually eat, um, eat this with my liver in the morning for breakfast, that's what I eat. So I can just take pellets and like chew them slightly or swallow them. They're not, I don't find it tasty. I'm just doing it for the nutrition and the fat. But um, this suet, I actually really, I don't mind it raw, but I actually, I've been making tallow with it in my air fryer and I um, cut it up and I'll actually show you the process here, but I like to eat this suet, but when it's cooked. So I I get as much tallow as I can from it, and then I um, crispen it up and eat it. So um, these chunks are pretty big. I just cut it down. And this is frozen still, so it's a bit tough. Um, I have a air fryer basket or not an air fryer basket it's a cooking basket but it's um, silicone it's easy for me to pour out my tallow it's PBA free and all that so I put um, little pieces into my basket and so this is how I make my tallow it's not the conventional way of doing it um, it just again how I do it it works for me um, and then I really like crisping these up in the air fryer like I said so I'm going to show you that whole process now. Okay, so that's about as much as I'm going to add to my basket um, because I'm going to eat these after I drain the tallow. And so you can see there's still meat in some of the um, larger tallow that I, I mean the larger suet that I had got from the actual farmer. So now I am gonna bring the phone over to my air fryer and show you how I do this. Okay, so I haven't actually got to do this in my new air fryer. Um, so I'm not, so it just fits in my basket like that. You can see, um, what am I gonna set it on? Okay, I was playing around a bit. The air crisper function does not go as low as my other air fryer so I'm gonna hit the roasting option and I'm going to bring the heat down as low as it will go which is 250 and I'm going to try to just do um, five minute increments and start it and because this is a new air fryer hopefully it works out the same as it did in my other one but I'll show you in a bit okay okay guys it's been five minutes and you can see it's barely done anything except got a little bit warm but you see that little bit of liquid there that would be the tallow um i'm actually gonna just do a couple more minutes and then um show you again okay okay guys this has been another five minutes um i gotta put the phone up so let me get my phone situated and i'll be right okay so i have a jar here that's what i'm going to store my tallow in i am going to just pour i love this basket it is hot by the way still um even though it was low heat i love how i can just squish this and like pour and not have to pull out a strainer Okay, so we've only got a little bit there. 
um, but I'm gonna put this back in the air fryer and I'll pull the basket out in another five minutes and show you what it looks like then. Okay guys. Okay guys, it's been another five minutes and you can see how much it's shrunk down. Again, I'm gonna, um, it's gotten a little bit warmer. I need to improvise. Okay. So keep in mind, this jar will not be full because I cut such a little amount, but um, I just, I finished my other jar. So I will just keep adding to this jar. And even if I don't do it every day, if I do it every other day, oh, I lost a piece. So I'm gonna put it back in for another um, five minutes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I've lost count. Oh, it's hot. I've lost count on how much I've taken the basket out now. So I'll have to, ref, you'll have to, ref, I'll have to reference that later. So the basket's quite hot and the suet is quite hot so what I'm gonna let it do is just hang out now in the air fryer um, with the heat and not add any extra heat to see if I get any more and um, and then I'll show you um, probably like about five or ten minutes though because it's quite warm and it's quite warm in the air fryer okay oh my okay guys so I let it sit for over a good Oh, my little napkin went, but it's still kind of warm in there. I let it sit for over a good five minutes. I'm going to drain. I'm sorry if my camera angle and my board is all crooked. I have a new phone and the way I position my phone to tape videos um, is a bit different on this phone and I have no case yet. So I'm super paranoid because it just dropped. <laughs> so if anything's crooked, when I go to string this together, I'm sorry. I will get better in the future. Okay, so I think I'm still like, cause I let it sit there for like a good five minutes with no heat. I think what I'm gonna do is put it back in the heat now for five more and um, see if I can get any more tallow and then that will probably be it out of this batch. So I'll be back. Oh, wait. Okay guys, so this is the last um, five minutes I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, it's still kind of warm, pour it into my jar. So, um, I'm going to bring the phone down so you can actually see how much is in there. So like that is my finger. Right. Um, I am going to crisp these up now. So this was at a low temperature for, gosh, I lost count of how many times that the Nutella there. I'm going to put these in, um, in the air crisper. I'm going to do about like, I'm going to do five minutes first and see. But um, the heat is going to be at 390. So I was using that, um, oh my gosh, roast function. Now I'm going to use air crisper function. And I'm going to do five minutes. Okay, I'll show you in a bit. Okay, guys, this is um, about five more minutes. You can see how much more came off with the higher heat. Um, I'm going to actually drain that, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Hello. 
Okay, so that's the last little bit there. And so now I'm going to put these back in the air fryer just for like two minutes. But where is my... I'm going to sprinkle some salt on them. So this is just real salt. I like them salted. I know this is a little bit excessive. Okay, so it's going back in the air fryer. And so I store my tallow in the fridge just because, I don't know, I could do it on the countertop, but I like it in the fridge. Um, and again, so throughout the week, I'll just keep filling my jar, but I'm like, I think that's like a pretty good amount for like how much suet I actually used. You can see it's already starting to cool down. That's why it's clouding out because once it cools down, it will be white and I'll show you when it's cooled down too, but yeah, so finger reference air mount. It was a little bit of time consuming steps as far as taking it out every five minutes, um, but it's worth it. Okay guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just transfer it to my bowl. And there you have it. I'm gonna just, it's really hot still, but mm, it's so good. Let me know if you've done this or if you if you do try it, let me know. But I hope good. I got a crunchy piece there. But for the most part, it's got this cloudy, yummy texture. I don't know how to explain it, but this is how I like to eat my suet. I do eat it raw, but I don't actually like to eat it raw. So, okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, I know this isn't traditional, um, but I really like it. And you can see it's like kind of like cloudy like, but yeah. Let me know if you have any questions or if you've tried this before, what, what do you think of it? And let me know if you do try it. Bye guys.